want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, it's Chris Bumbray. I'm still at Comic-Con. So Saturday was a big day in Hall H. A lot of stuff going on. The big titan duel, I guess, was between Warner Brothers, DC, and Marvel. And I, I think it's safe to say that Marvel won. It's just, just the fact. I mean, unveiling Phase 5 and phase, phase 6 was pretty insane. But that said, I thought that the Warner Brothers panel was quite good. So it started off with a trailer for Shazam! Fury of the Gods. And they brought out the whole cast. And everybody seemed pretty affable. It looks like a fun movie. I think that's kind of the term that I would use for Shazam. Affable and likable. You know, it's not heavy-duty DC stuff. I think it'll do very well. That said, uh, for me, the DC show was really stolen by Black Adam. So they basically gave us all these lanyards that lit up and that kind of when when Black Adam came on stage. And, and that was fun. I mean, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was there. And if anybody knows how to work the room, it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And, you know, he went into how passionate he is about the project, saying that he's been trying to get it done for 10 years. And as somebody who's followed news here at Joe Blow, I can tell you it's true. I mean, we've been talking about Black Adam movies for a long time. That said, I would say that in the early trailers and the early footage that I saw, I never quite got how Black Adam was different from kind of another Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie. Uh, I mean, I love Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but I do find that he tends to play himself the same way that somebody like, you know, John Wayne or Clint Eastwood played themselves. But this new trailer for Black Adam is really cool because it really kind of gets into how different the character is and how dark the character is. And I don't think that Dwayne Johnson has ever played a character this dark before. So he talks about his powers a little bit. He says, they're not a gift, they're a curse born of rage. And I think that kind of, for me, drove home what the whole premise is. So... I don't know. I mean, I, I really enjoyed watching this trailer. Um, but I think what was especially good was that they introduced the Justice Society of America. I mean, I think that really kind of brought the house down. And that was a really smart way to present them at Comic-Con. So overall, I say that I had a really good time at the DC panel. That said, it wasn't as insane as Marvel. But here's something. A lot of people thought that Henry Cavill would be brought back as Superman or that they would make some kind of announcement. And that didn't happen. But... So there were two questions. One was who would win in a battle between Shazam and Superman. And everybody on stage, the cast, Zachary, everybody, they all were very coy with their answers. Like they knew something that they couldn't say, which makes me think that Henry Cavill might be in Shazam as Superman. Maybe they're taking a page from Marvel, who seem to be teasing all these big cameos. It, it really possibly could happen. But here's what makes me think it might even happen in Black Adam, possibly as a post credit scene. Because somebody asked Dwayne The Rock Johnson who would win in a battle, Black Adam or Superman. And Dwayne Johnson just laughed for a while, grinning, and said, don't threaten me with a good time. And then his answer oh, was very interesting. He said, depends who's playing Superman, doesn't it? So I don't know. I feel like he knows something. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Henry Cavill came back as Superman and it was something that either we'll find out at DC Fandom or turns up in, you know, a cameo in Shazam! Fury of the Gods or Black Adam. We'll see. Um, I guess the one thing that was kind of disappointing about the panel was that we never saw the flash footage that I saw at, uh, at CinemaCon for obvious reasons. If you haven't been following the headlines here on Joe Blow, the star Ezra Miller is, is, is quite troublesome at this moment, I would say. But man... The footage that we saw at CinemaCon would have blown the audience away here at Comic-Con because it revealed, for the first time since 1992, Michael Keaton as Batman. <laughs> Him saying, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. I mean, people would have gone berserk, but either they're saving it for fandom or they're still trying to figure out what they're going to do with Ezra Miller. I was thinking that Ezra Miller might just bomb the panel, but that didn't happen. So... The Warner Brothers panel was a little bit mild compared to the Marvel one, but uh, overall, I thought it was pretty interesting. Go fight for the world. I just threw a truck at a dragon. I love my life. Hey everybody, it's Chris Bumbray. I'm at uh, Comic-Con and we're about to take a look at the exhibit hall and uh, yeah, have some fun. So come on, let's go.